Hi guys, not too long ago, um, I did a review of the Bitty Baby Boy Dolls Cozy, or actually, no, Snuggly Lamp Pajamas. So these are, this is the next set that's affiliated with the girl baby doll, and this is the Cozy Cub Outfit. So because I have a Bitty Baby Doll, a boy doll named Isaac Milo, who's in a sleeper right now, um, I did want to model this on a retired boy doll for the lamb outfit. So it's only fair that I would use his sister, Jacinda Natalie, to model the Biddy Twin Cozy Cub outfit. So even though this is a Biddy Twin toddler who um, is retired because she is the brunette with the short hair and not the long hair, um, a while ago, they offered um, all kinds of different various um, ethnicities of Bitty Babies back in the day. So this is the African-American set, one being a boy with the curly hair, one being a girl with the curly hair or pigtails. So now they've done away with the hair and they've just stuck with the Bitty Baby dolls, one being a boy and one being a girl for the twin set. But if you still have the retired Biddy twins and you're disillusioned with the fact that they're not making them anymore, therefore they're not making their outfits anymore for the boy and the girl doll, um, you can go ahead and get some of these outfits. So the first one I did was for the boy. Now it's Jacinda's turn to model the Cozy Cub outfit for the girl. And she's in her original um, Biddy twin sleeper. So just like her brother, I'm going to take her out of the Bitty Twin Sleeper, let you guys see the dimensions of the doll, so that way you guys can get an idea of how this will fit on some of your older um, Bitty Twin toddler dolls. And because this doll came out in the late 90s, I believe, um, and she was like the first edition of the brunette twins because of her sleeper and the first edition book that has the blonde haired bitty twins. Um, you guys can see how this outfit will look on a thicker body doll. Um, she definitely has an older body. So in some cases it might be a snug fit, but we'll have to wait and see. So let's go on with the review. Okay, so when you first open it up, it still has the iconic tissue paper for American Girl. And I thought this would be a two-piece set where this would be separate from the skirt, but it looks like um, this is attached. So you get the bodice up top or the attached sweater up top that has like this nice little uh, detail right here. And it still has the nice design going down similar to the boys. It has a ribbed neck and ribbed cuffs at the sleeve. I do like this. It's not, it feels like a thick tool. Um, so it's definitely not thin. You have the American Girl logo as opposed to the Bitty Baby logo, which I like because you can put these kinds of outfits either on the Bitty Baby or in my case on the Bitty Twin. And this is her body um, without her sleeper. So you can see that she has the neck strings, uh, unlike Bitty Baby nowadays where they have it without neck strings. She has the old school diaper on. Um, her body again is an older Bitty Baby, Bitty Twin toddler body. So, uh, we're going to see how it's going to fit on this doll. It looks like it would fit pretty well. I'm going to see if the wrinkles fall out of the underskirt since it has two parts, a top and a bottom. So it's a layered skirt. Um, these are the booties and they look a little bit like the lamb booties, but they're the cubs. Uh, the only thing is that it has this little tool bow let me see if I can get closer. It has a tool bow right here to signify that it belongs on the girl, Bitty Baby, because um, you can put like a bow uh, headband 
on your Bitty Baby doll, especially since the Bitty Baby dolls don't have hair. But the fun part is because if you put them on a retired Bitty Twin toddler that does have hair, you could even include like a gray bow in her hair. But I'm going to keep this uh, fuchsia pink bow on her hair, uh, the double bow instead. And um, this does not untie. I believe this is attached with um, Velcro. And you can see that they have like the little cub ears for the hat. And the hat is super soft. It's the same material as um, the booties. So I like that a lot. So you do get a lot with this set. And I believe it retails for $34. So um, I'm glad that this has a thickness to it. It feels kind of weighty, um, especially the skirt. I thought the skirt would be very lightweight, but it's made... Uh, the material is very nice and if you look on the back it has the same kind of detailing on the back around um, the sweater or the bodice of the dress so it's really not a skirt sweater set it's more of a dress that's made to look like it's two parts all right so let's see how it looks on Jacinda okay so here Jacinda is and even with this being on an older doll the booties were relatively easy for me to get on her feet, so they look really nice. So let me see if I can get an up-close picture of it. And you can barely see the bows, but that's okay. Um, I'm assuming the wrinkles in the skirt will iron itself out eventually. The ruffles around the waist for the sweater are really nice. It's it has details upon details. Uh, not only do I like the layered skirt or the bottom half of the dress and how it has that American Girl label uh, as opposed to a, just a Bitty Baby or Bitty Twin icon label. Um, I like the cuff around the neck and I like the detailing on the sweater. So I like how it just looks on an older doll such as Jacinda. Um, so this is how Jacinda would look if you were to leave out, uh, if you were to leave off the hat. So let's just say you wanted to model it on your Biddy Baby or Biddy Twin doll that didn't have um, the hat per se, but had like hair. So just because she has a full head of hair, you could even uh, give her again a gray bow and show her um, rocking a gray bow with this outfit. And I think it would look really nice with the outfit. But because she comes with a hat, uh, I'm going to put the hat on her and show you how it looks on um, her head with all that hair, including the top knot. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm not even going to take the bow off. I'm going to see if I can do it all together. Okay, so here Jacinda is looking as cute as ever. And remember, she is an older Biddy Twin Toddler doll. And so these dolls had a lot of hair on the top of their heads, but you can see that American Girl did a good job because the hat, the bear cub hat, actually lays pretty nicely uh, on top of her head, even with all that hair underneath. And um, if you turn around the back, um, she even has a lot of room in the back, so it's not so snug on her that it looks almost inhibiting, um, where it looks like it would. the outfit is just, she's just smushed and squished in this outfit. Um, it doesn't look like she was squeezed in this outfit at all to the point where it would be uncomfortable. So I do like how the outfit looks overall from the front and the back. Okay, so here's Jacinda and Noel, or sorry, Jacinda and Jasper, Noel together, and this is how they look. So you guys can get a good idea um, of how your older Biddy twins would look in a new American Girl outfit similar to this. And if you wanted them to go trick or treating, I don't even see why you wouldn't be able to pair some kind of jack o' lantern um, bag or. Uh, candy holding device 
uh, around their wrist to where it would look as if they could go trick-or-treating in these outfits as well. Um, so let's just kind of get a good picture there of how the two look again. Okay, so again, these are my older or oldest brunette Biddy Twin dolls for the toddlers and my African-American Biddy Twin dolls for the toddler edition. And you can see that all of them now have their fall outfits. So this outfit is, or these two outfits are very new where they're modern. And these outfits are retired. They're a few years old because I got them back in 2012, 2013. So even if you have a modern bitty baby boy doll that you got from the latest, um, the latest, I guess, retail of how they were revamping the boy and girl bitty baby twins, you can still have a bitty baby doll, but if you have the older bitty baby twins, the toddler editions, you can still buy these kinds of outfits for your dolls and they'll still look just as cute. So again, um, this outfit is called the Cozy Cub Outfit and it's for the girl bitty baby, or in my case, bitty twin toddler baby. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Oh, if you like my content, go ahead and subscribe um, because I do reviews on older dolls as well as newer American Girl dolls and all kinds of dolls. So um, that's just a little plug for my channel and what you can expect. I don't get paid uh, to do these videos. I do them on my own merit, so I always give my honest opinion. All right, talk to you guys later.